Yo, what is up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will finally be reacting to Mahoka Coco, episodes 16 and 17. And I can tell from the overwhelming amount of comments that I got that this is the episode that everyone has been looking forward to, and God Suya is finally about to make his move. So, anyways, in the last episode, up until this point, Tatsuya's pretty much, he's been the designated engineer for our school. He's been kind of working on everyone's CADs to fine tune their magic so that they could perform better at this nine schools competition. Well, all of that changed today because Saigusa decided to choose Tatsuya to fight on the front lines for the boys. And at first, Tatsuya was very much against it. He didn't want any part to do with this, but after talking with Jumonji, he finally agreed. But he had somewhat of a condition that he wanted to add as well, which was pretty much, okay, I'll fight, but I get to choose who I work with because he wanted to choose people who he knew, whose magics he knew very well so that he could kind of work around it. And the two people that he chose were, I believe his name is Sionji? Is that it? The dude with the CAD blade that extends? Him? And Mikihiko, the sorcerer. So... This already in itself is already very impressive because this is an entire team of weeds that's pretty much defending our school. So imagine if they do win this, like the news spreads throughout the school that our school, all these blooms that are like so high and mighty, they're gonna read in the newspaper, the school newspaper, that a team of weeds defended their school and dominated all of these other schools which i think would be really cool but anyways tatsuya and his team they blew through the competition easily wasn't even close and ever since they figured out that tatsuya was the engineer behind our school the crimson prince and cardinal george have been paying very close attention to his moves his magics pretty much trying to analyze study him and figure out what he's capable of and i still think that they underestimate him from what i've heard and from what i've seen it seems like they think that his magical prowess or pretty much his power is limited to what he's displayed like his genius doesn't go much further than that and so i think they're heavily underestimating him but i don't think that they're dumb they're not gonna go into this blind and just be like oh this is easy i think they're gonna be a bit cautious because they might not know everything that he's capable of but we'll just have to see in this episode legends are about to clash we are going to get this final showdown between the first school and the third school. The geniuses are all going to duke it out and we are going to see who finally comes out on top. So, if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description. And also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. All $2 patrons and up will be getting these early access episodes, so they'll be seeing this before anyone else on YouTube. So if you want to be one of those people, then that will be the way to do so. But with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. Alright, so this is the part of the video where you guys, you pretty much make your own choice. You can either follow along by clicking the first link, bring up the video and syncing it with me and the second link for episode 17 afterwards, or you can go and click the third link, get the mega link, watch everything all together without having to have multiple tabs open. So you can choose whichever way you'd like to consume this content. But with that, uh, let's just jump right into this. So we'll be starting episode 16 in three, two, one, go. All right. So this is like our camp. Wait, are those the outfits they're gonna have to wear? Oh, snap. Hmm. Wow. So they're gearing up for this big match. Oh? And what's that? Oh. Hmm.
That's interesting. Invisible bullet. Really? But? Okay. And we're going to use that against him? Okay. All right. So it looks like we actually do have a plan. Um, but what they said about Cardinal George, his invisible bullet, have we seen that? Maybe I just don't remember. We got this fire opening again, dude. Man. But, um, did we see that? I'm guessing if we did, we would have seen it, um, when him and the Crimson Prince competed last episode. That's when I'd assume they would use it. But if not, Tatsuya somehow knows about his invisible bullet. And apparently he has to see us in order to hit us with it. But if we wear this, like, robe with magical circles in it, it's supposed to help us somehow? I don't know how exactly, because I'm pretty sure he could still see us wearing it, but maybe not. Who knows? Maybe we can uh, kind of conceal our presence with it. We don't know exactly what it's capable of. Or maybe it'll just help, like... I don't know, like, mitigate the damage of the invisible bullet, like it won't hit us as hard. I'm not sure, though. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're watching the episode right here, so we won't really have to do much theory crafting. And here he is training. Or not training, but what is this called? Tai Chi? Dang, he's that strong. Oh snap, she cooled it too? Man. So she feels like she's the one that's limiting him? Is that what she said? Alright. But then there's also the restrictions of the competition. Like, you can't use spells above a certain rating, right? And you can't use spells that cause direct harm to people. Oh, <laughs> she's... <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. They look kind of clean. I'm not going to lie. That looks like it'd be really hot to wear, though. Hmm. <laughs> It's like, why are we the only ones embarrassing ourselves? <laughs> and freaking Erica, dude. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, we did find out that she can see it. What does he have planned, though? Oh.
See, they're underestimating, man. They think they're way above everyone else in this competition. And they're like, when they look at Tatsuya, they're like, oh, that's cute. But you're still no match for us. I feel like that's how they see Tatsuya right now. And here we go. All right, right away. Oh, okay. So whatever he was trying to cast there, we just shut it down. But I know one of our weaknesses is our cast time, right? Like, it takes us slightly longer to pull spells off than, like, Miyuki. And they're kind of just firing back and forth. And this was kind of their plan, right? To get close quarters? But he seems super confident, man. He's smiling the whole time. Oh, snap. Are they talking about Tatsuya? Mm-hmm. Jumonji knows. Yeah. They're sleeping on him, man. Cardinal George is making his move now. But what are the other two up to? Sionji and Mikihika. Oh snap, we're not letting him get away though. So what do those things do? I'm guessing if they like sit there and they stay active for too long, then they'll eventually fire something. Okay, yeah, I was right, okay. So that's why Tatsuya has been like shutting him down right away. Yo, what? What is this? Wait, did he make those? Or could he see? He can like foresee where they're gonna come up at now? Holy! Oh, they know. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Who's... Oh, he knows. This is the dude from the little ceremony in the beginning. Oh, and here's Sionji. Took his cape off. Oh, snap! And he's going around it? That's smart. That's so smart. And that's how he can't use Invisible Bullet. Dang, and who is that? Mikihiko? It was. Genjutsu, what? Oh snap, what's he gonna do? We gotta act fast. Oh, he had his back. Okay, you win this round. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. So I'm guessing those like shift the gravity, maybe, and that's why he brought that up when the wind was coming at him. But Tatsuya. Uh, or so you think. So I'm guessing he panicked because he saw him running up so fast. And so he just threw the magic out there without being considerate of his safety. Oh, snap! Bro! Look at this man, he's just gliding across the field. <gasps> what? <laughs> this is not real. And yet, oh my gosh. Dang, it was still a bit too much. But I don't think he suffered any major damage. He thinks that Tatsuya's down for the count. Wait, is this the auto regen again? And he can. Oh, wait. Okay, so he's repairing himself. So now he's as good as new again. And this dude is not expecting it. Bro, what was that? Did this man just Thanos snap? What in the world? So if that had that effect on people that far away, I can't imagine what this dude experienced. Yeah, he has to be down after that. Holy. So then what magic did he use exactly? Oh, man. They don't know. And amplified the sound? That makes sense. Oh, and that's why he was bleeding. Because he probably injured his own ears, too. Ah, but he's perfectly fine, and that's why she's shocked. Mm-hmm. Yep, Cardinal George. And is it just them two? Or do they have a third dude? Oh yeah, they do have a third guy. Because I remember Cardinal George talked to him. And they know. Dang. Flip. 
Flash cast. Hmm. Wow. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, the match isn't over yet, buddy. And we told you, you won that round. But next time, your friend won't be here to save you. It looks like using up so much magic is wearing on him, too. Let's see if he can do it. All right. He's whipping out his CAD. Oh, wait. Hold on. This is really interesting. Oh, you're not going anywhere. All right, it seems like he kind of slipped away. But now he's flying straight into a trap, dude. Man. Seems like this dude is no joke either. Sayonji. Tatsuya, someone. Save him. There we go. Dude, that's so sick. Man. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, dude. Okay, so the thing that I wanted to mention was um, Mikihiko, he doesn't normally use CADs, right? Because I remember there was a discussion about like ancient magic taking longer but being more powerful. And then CADs, they're not as powerful, but they're quicker to pull off. So, and I don't remember him using a CAD when he fought those dudes that were running outside. So did he whip out a CAD for the first time in this fight? And kind of flip the script on us? That'd be really interesting if he did. But it looks like we made it. Dang. Respect. But it sounds like it hurt. Ah, so he took the full impact. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting, though. His body was kind of starting to feel the wear, or I guess the consequences of using magic too much. And he bit his lip to snap himself out of it.
Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, we did it, boys. We took down the Crimson Prince. And Cardinal George. There's Miyuki. Hey, we told you we'd win. Don't worry, Miyuki, we got you. So, if I'm correct, Tatsuya said that, um... Well, okay, so the two people in the stands, they called it Flash Cast, which, to my understanding, is instead of using the CAD and, like, activating the sequence through that, it's when you memorize the sequence in your head, so that when you cast it, you already have everything there, so it just comes out instantly and you don't have to worry about cast time or anything, which was actually Tatsuya's downside. Not downside, but um, it's something he struggled with, right? Is cast time. So by being able to flash cast, that made it so that he could do it instantly. But at the same time, not everyone can do that, right? Because it's insane to be able to remember a super complex sequence in your head at all times. Am I right? Is that what is like super... Is that what was, um, what the people in the stand saw as impressive from Tatsuya? Alright. Well, time to go into episode 17. And to see, uh, what we do after the smoke finally clears. Alright, so here we are with episode 17. If you are following along, make sure to click the second link, bring up the video and sync it with me. If you're watching through the mega link, then... Just continue through the mega link because we'll be starting this in three, two, one, go. Okay. And here we are. The guy's trying to rig the competition. So then, did these guys, like, bet on the competition or something? And that's why they're trying so hard to rig? So these guys are scumbags, is what I'm hearing. Although I guess we already knew that. But um, we have the nurse investigating on them, right? Trying to figure out their location. Man, this is... Dude, this is so scary. Like, imagine... Like... I don't know, you're playing sports in school or something. And you're like... I don't know, say you're on the basketball team. And your team goes to nationals. And then you find out that... There's like this... Like... Scary organization... That's trying to rig the winner. I'm guessing because they bet on it or something. And... Um, I don't know. From what it looks like, they don't want your team to win, but you're winning. So in this final, I don't know, like final couple minutes of the 
match is coming up, of this final match that's going to decide it all, and it's not going in their favor, you'd assume that they'd start getting desperate, and they're, I'm sure they're going to try to do something pretty, pretty serious. Because that guy was talking about, like, if people die, then it's just unlucky for them. And then he, like, smirked. So we know whatever's coming is going to be life-threatening. Unlike these other situations. But even then, like, with the, the girl that was surfing that had her CAD, um, like, tampered with. If our, if the girl from our school didn't stop to try to grab her, she would have flew straight into the wall, right? That probably could have killed her. And here's the Mirage Bat. Oh, it's this game. Okay. Where everyone dresses up as magical girls. Oh. Oh, wow. So he set up beforehand. And of course, Erica. <laughs> trying to twist it into something romantic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I agree. What is she doing? Oh, she sees it. I knew it. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's not what I think. Okay, it looks like someone saved her. But this means she's out of the competition. And they're sending the dudes around to scout out the situation. Hmm. Maybe done for. Kobayakawa. I don't remember who that is exactly. It makes me think of the girl. Um, oh man, the girl with the gray hair that competed in the shooting competition. I know her name started with a K. But I doubt they're talking about her. But yeah, I was thinking like during the Mirage Bat, the way they kind of rig it is, of course, by tampering with the CADs. But I think the way they do it is by disabling the flight magic or the magic that was keeping them in the air so that they just fall. And then if they fell to their death, then they'd be unlucky. But
But apparently there's more to it than that. Can he scan it himself? Oh, it's him! Oh! Oh, so is the guys inspecting it. Oh, what are we about to do to him? He looks horrified. Why are his eyes like that? That's so weird. Are they closed? Are they open? What is going on here? Is he blind? I wonder if he's innocent. Golden electron silkworms. Oh. Oh, maybe he is guilty. I thought that maybe he was just doing his job, but somebody tampered with the machine or something. They must have been paying him the big bucks. whispering what are you gossiping about speak up or maybe is our ear still injured I don't know seems like we heard her clearly it's because he cares about you Miyuki Wow, that's deep. <laughs> well i'm glad they broke the tension there so i'm guessing these guys may have heard that tatsuya got violent but they didn't hear the whole story so when saigusa explained what happened they were like oh okay makes sense
Oh, snap? What is she about to use? Oh, snap. I feel like we just unleashed a beast here. Hold up. <laughs> she had to ask for permission. Oh, man. And she's holding back? Or she's staying back? Oh, is that his? The flight device that he made? Dang, she is zooming! She's gonna knock this out of the park. Dang, these fluid movements. Yep. This is real flight magic that our boy developed. Yeah. Dang, she's popping off. Look at the scoreboard. Wow. And they said it was only published a month ago. So does that mean like normally if someone were to buy it, it'd take a lot of time to get used to? But she of course was experienced with it because Tatsuya made it and she was like the first person to try it. Dang, what? Put him into rage mode. He could kill a hundred or two with his bare hands? Remove the limiter. So who is this number 17? Oh, it looks like it's him. Oh man, he's about to make his move. Hey, yo, close the gates! His first victim. Oh! What? <gasps> Bro, he was ready! Oh my gosh! Dude, that caught me way off guard. I was not expecting that, bro. I thought he was gonna get his head ripped off or something. He... <laughs> bro. He's an enhanced human. Oh, and it seems like they were waiting for him. Dang. Oh, what? This dude is no joke, bro. This dude is no joke. Dang. They're just toying with this man. And they're just having a casual conversation while whooping him. Oh snap. Thunder Needle. Wow, and this dude is supposed to be known to take out a hundred or two people with his bare hands. And he couldn't even handle these three guys. Not to say, like, I'm pretty sure, I'm positive these guys are like the best of the best. But still, like, 
they handled this dude. He didn't even get to take out one person, let alone the supposed hundred that he could take down. That was nuts. Oh, snap. Hmm. Man, her being so attached to him, like, I know most people would be like, whoa, what's going on here, dude? This is kind of weird, your brother and sister. But, like, me, what I see is, like, her caring about him so much, it really makes me wonder what their childhood was like. Because, like, imagine if, like... After that attack that the Crimson Prince did on Tatsuya, imagine if he didn't, like, get up all right after that. What if he was, like, permanently injured from that? Imagine, like, how much pain she'd be going through. Like, she would be absolutely devastated. Fly to your heart's content. She's gonna knock this round out of the park. Who can even compete? Dang. I wonder how the scoring system works for this. It seems like she's just hitting, like, random colors. The other schools, too. Ah. Safety function. Oh snap, one of them is falling. And it'll slowly lower her. So I'm guessing she's not used to this spell. And. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Like, it's so weird. We're 17 episodes into this series. And there's still so many questions I have. But my guess was that she wasn't used to the sequence. And so she couldn't. I don't know, like, keep it active for as long? Or maybe it was, like, really taxing on her body and she was getting exhausted. And so that's when the safety measurement kicked in. She won. You'll what, Tatsuya? No! What? You can't cut him off mid-sentence. He just said, I'll... And then... Nothing. So what, do we have to wait, 
Like, if this was airing, you'd have to wait an entire week just to see the end of that sentence. What in the world? Alright, well, alright, let's just head over to the ending discussion and wrap everything up, shall we? Alright, so that was the end of episode 16 and 17 of Mahoka Coco, and I see why. I see why you guys were talking about Tatsuya is insane this whole time. I can see why. Especially when the Crimson Prince was activating like all those spells that were surrounding Tatsuya, and then he was just like, Alright time to handle business and he was just he was like a reaper just firing all around him hitting every single target and there were like two that he missed i think there were two that he missed out of the like 20 that that guy activated and he activated all of those out of panic i'm guessing because he wasn't expecting tatsuya to run up on him like that and so in an attempt to like get him off of him he activated all those spells without being cautious of how many he activated or how he angled them i think that's what he said so tatsuya he took out most of them which is impressive but he did end up getting hit and then once he got hit he activated the auto restore which brought his body back into mint condition and then the red the crimson prince guy he was like, oh no, what have I done, dude? I just seriously injured this guy. We're gonna get disqualified. And then right after, Tatsuya just gets up next to him, snaps in his ear, and everyone felt it. So it was um amplified, it was pretty much like an amplified super snap, right? Like he snapped, it was super loud, so loud that everyone in the crowd heard it. The other people on the field heard it. And if it's that loud, imagine how loud it must have been for the Crimson Prince, who was right next to it, dude. That had to be like, and that injured Tatsuya as well. Like Tatsuya couldn't hear through one ear. So if you're getting hit with that in like such a close proximity, I'm guessing that has to do some like permanent damage to your ears, unless they have like some phenomenal like medics and stuff that could heal that sort of injury. But dude, that is insane that is so crazy and then don't get me wrong uh sayonji and mikihiko were pretty impressive too and then it was so crazy because you know him the way he uses magic he's known for like setting up traps and like kind of long-term spells whereas once he started using the cad he instantly started throwing out spells he threw out one spell that was supposed to be somewhat of a distraction to make the guy want to, you know, jump out of the way or use his gravity or whatever to pull himself out of the way. And then he used another spell to make the grass kind of grab his legs. And while he was distracted with getting the grass off of his leg, he was flying back and he flew up straight into a trap, which was that lightning. So he hit the lightning trap, pretty much plummeted down to the ground and he was done for. And then the last dude tried to come in and hit Mikihiko with like some sort of like earth spell. And then my boy Sayonji, he threw his cape over there or whatever. And then it kind of solidified into a shield, blocked the attack from Mikihiko. And then he smacked him up with the CAD, dude. Their teamwork was phenomenal that round. Like all of them should give themselves a pat on the back. Then we had the next episode with that dude that was supposed to be able to take out 100, 200 people. He stepped out into the arena. He was about to claim his first victim. And then the dude flipped the script on him, literally threw him outside of the arena and he just got bodied, dude. Oh my gosh. That was, I know these dudes are salty. These dudes that sent him out here, I know they're salty. I just, oh man, what a bunch of clowns but they got what they deserved. So with that, thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description and also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that, I'm going to head out and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.